Next project. It worked out pretty cool. Now listen, I think we all understand a few things. First thing we understand, I'm not a fucking doctor. Check. I'm not a nurse. I have no true affiliation with the fucking medical field professionally, other than being a human fucking guinea pig in research. And because I find myself in research, I'm exposed to a few things that a lot of people will know about me. Right now I'm exposed to a fucking airplane going on my house. Newark Airport's about that way, about fucking, you know, 10 miles as the crow flies. Caldwell Airport is about two miles in that direction. That's why all the time you always hear helicopters and fucking airplanes and shit like that. It's a constant thing. No big deal. Getting back to what we were talking about. Um, there is a fact that we know to be true. There happens to be a, a virus going around. And it's killing motherfuckers. Mostly killing the elderly and those with comorbidities. Obesity, uh, cardiac problems, heart issues, lung problems, diabetes. All right. Basically, it's killing those that aren't quite that healthy. All right, so you need to forego that. One of the reasons I'm always training is so I want to keep my body moving. Right, I'm going to try desperately to keep this video relatively short. However, one of the things with the training, it activates the fucking immune system, your lymphatic system. So what do you know about the lymphatic system anyway? Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know shit. Do you know without the lymphatic system, you'd be dead in two days. Two days, bye-bye. You know, a virus, a little disease, some, um, some little fucking meaning in your body would fucking take over and you would die of infection in point fucking nine. You know, there's a lot of different things, but mostly the leukocytes are the ones that kick ass. You white blood cells. Um, in your body, with the exception of, you know, every, I, I don't know if there's a misconception or people don't quite understand how everything works. You know, you got the cardiovascular system, which is your heart, that pumps blood around. And when I do this, because I think the uh, arteries come out of the left side, and they travel down over here, and they go back over this way, and they do this and all the rest of this shit. And then they come back over here. If you ever check your blood pressure, a lot of times they call it 120 over 80. The 120 is the side that's being pressurized. That's where the pressure is coming out. And the 80 is the low pressure side that's going back into the heart. The uh, ventrals or the vascular, whatever the fuck it is. Look into this. You need to know this shit. I know it. I don't remember half this shit. I read a ton of this shit and I just, ah, god damn it. I don't practice this shit. I'm not a goddamn doctor. That be said, interstitial fluid is actually sort of platelets and some water-based fluid that goes around and lubricates all of your organs, your muscles, and your everything that need to be fucking lubricated so you don't fucking die, so your body doesn't dehydrate. Why do you think you should drink fluids? Why do you think you should do whatever? All right? But within all that stuff, you got your leukocytes and everything else, and they go on and they grab these little viral little critters and these bacteriums and stuff like that, and they bring them through back into the lymphatic vessels, where eventually they end up in the lymph nodes. With the, with, at the time they're at the lymph nodes, they are recognized or whatever by either the T cells or the B cells. The T cells actually, you know, they make a blueprint of whatever that virus thing is, and they remember it, and they remember how to kill it, Okay. There's, it's a complicated game. I'm not that fucking good. All right. 
But you got your T and your B cells that whoop ass. You got your leukocytes. You got a fucking a whole pile of shit. Your dendrites are the ones that actually uh, drag the dead cells away and stuff like that. And then you poop them out or you pee them out or you do whatever it is. You get them out of your body. One of the problems with quadriplegia, we are not able to do this properly. We need to look into it. Look into the lymphatic system. It's very important. Well, it's not important if you really uh, don't want to be around for very long. Oh, oh, oh. lymphatic vessels that go through you, the lymph nodes and everything else, the only way you get them working is lymphatic brushing because you, my friend, are the pump for the lymphatic system, okay? So by flexing muscles and everything else, it pumps the system. It takes the interstitial fluid, sucks it into the fucking lymphatic vessels, carries whatever fucking little meanies that it finds, and it exposes them to your T and B cells where they are fucking murderated by the fucking dendrites, the leukocytes, and the fucking, uh, what else, uh, what the fuck were the other things? Oh, shit. Dendrocytes, leukocytes, oh, and the natural killer cells, which is awesome. Now, one of the things that you have and one of the problems that we have, especially I live in New Jersey, which is a little bit higher up on the latitude of the, uh, the world itself. We're going into the winter months. One of the problems with the winter months is that the sun dips below the horizon rather quickly and it doesn't make any difference. Most of you motherfuckers don't get outside and get enough fresh air and sunshine anyway. I'm outside damn near every day. It's more unusual for me not to be outside than it is for me to be outside. And with this pile of shit right here, I'm going to be outside quite a bit. That's tomorrow. I've already been outside for a little bit today. And I'm probably going to finish out the day after, you know, fucking around a little bit. I'm gonna sit back and probably crack a beer or something like that. Who the fuck knows? I'm not here to talk about that right now. But the simple fact of the matter is there is a there is a, uh, a guy on YouTube right now called Dr. John Campbell that I follow, and he's been following this whole COVID fucking 19 bullshit. And he has a couple things to say about vitamin D and vitamin K2. Eric, we just talked about this. Well, that's John Campbell, and I, like I said, I, I told you I insist that you actually watch that video. There's also a MedCram video that I'm going to link to that I really insist that you watch. Very important. Now, I'm not going to look into this fucking camera because i got to read something because I'm not a goddamn genius. I don't remember all this shit. But I'll talk to you about the benefits of vitamin D. Bone health, boost immunity, cuts cancer risks, maintain body weight, reduces inflammation, Blood sugar regulation reduces autoimmunity, boosts co uh, cognition, ding, ding, your fucking brain, your mood, your attitude, your sleep, and improves heart and muscle function. It also improves a lot of cellular health. These are things that we need to know, especially in this fucking time. There's also another one that I just mentioned, vitamin K. And we're like, hmm. What, what does that do? Oh, in, you know, uh, decreases inflammation, helps out T cells, T cells, you know, inhibits, uh, you know, what do you call it? Cytokines. This is, it makes it so your body can fight. Uh, anti cancer properties, cancer, death. Used in, you know, cancer therapy. Inhibits growth of metastasized and multiple cancers. I mean, cancers. It fucking helps it so you don't die of fucking diabetes. So many different things. I mean, you know, vitamin K is amazing. But the one thing it really does that's pretty impressive is this, that, you know, it redistributes calcium in the body. And... Um, makes it so that when free reigning, you know, roaming calcium just goes wherever it is. You drink a glass of milk, you eat some cheese, somewhere along the lines, some type of calcium ends up in your bloodstream. Vitamin K grabs it and brings it to your teeth 
in your bones, strengthens your bones. If you're dealing, if you're sitting in a chair, all right, your bones are turning to shit. Just that, just so you know. Oh goodness. As compared to the calcium roaming around, getting ending ending up in your arteries and your 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 veins or whatever have you, and ends up with uh, what's that thing called? Uh, Arterial calcification, hardening of the arteries, narrowing of the arteries. And if you get a calcium buildup and a chunk snaps off, that's when it gets into, like, I don't know, it gets into wherever the hell it's going to go. Typically, in the, what does that do? Oh, yeah, you only end up having a goddamn stroke and fucking being able to really not fucking move. Look into vitamin D and vitamin K2. I'll leave links. I'm not describing every last thing because I'm not a fucking doctor. There's also a lot of different supplements. The simple fact of the matter is you need vitamin D that gets that, that makes it so your immune system is always firing. Vitamin D is, D is extremely fucking important for you. Don't trust, don't take my word on it. I'm going to put a link below to the video. I insist that you actually watch. If you're not going to fucking watch the video, turn this shit off now because I am not a fucking doctor. I'm also going to put another link to a site I call, um, I don't call it because it is what it is. It's called MedCram with a Dr. Subert. And he... has already implicated the use of vitamin D and, and zinc supplements. They enrich your cellular fucking for your body to fight off fucking viruses. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Seriously, I'm not a fucking doctor. These fucking assholes are. Actually, they're probably not assholes. They seem like pretty cool dudes. However, I'll be the asshole at this point in time. That's not a problem for me. However the situation is, we need to supplement with vitamin D. And it fucking it makes it so your immune system can properly fight. You need to supplement that with vitamin K2. Because any type of, uh, what do you call that shit, uh, hardening of the arteries is arterial calcification. And if you get a CT scan, you'll end up with a CAC score that estimates what your, what your arterial calcification is. Mine was a little high, but I think it was all fucked up, so it's a story for another day. I'm not overly concerned about myself, because I guarantee if I took the same fucking test today, it would be fucking within reason. However... I'm going to leave you now. You need to look and check the links I have below to the use of vitamin D, vitamin D2, vitamin D3, the use of vitamin K, vitamin K2 in particular. Vitamin K has a tendency to take the calcium that's floating around in your body and it redirects it towards the bones and teeth where it's fucking needed. Especially if you are a quadriplegic or if you have little to no ability to get out and function, your body will fucking atrophy. First your bones go. Then your muscles, no, first your muscles go, then your bones go, and then your organs go. Do I really need to continue on this seriously? It is Thanksgiving, bitches. This video, I just told you about the importance of vitamin D, the, vitamin, the importance of vitamin K2. I don't think I touched on zinc. Look into zinc supplements and look into vitamin C supplements. If this stuff, all it does is just keep you alive. I mean, if you don't want to be alive, don't be alive. But don't be, you know, don't cry when you're not alive. Well, you know, you won't cry when you're not alive, but other people will cry when you're not alive. Especially if you're a quadriplegic and you're neglecting yourself. If you're not training, if you're not doing your thing, if you're not... Uh, listen, I do and do and do, and but then I don't do. I freaking... Today I crashed out, and I slept... I shit you not. Damn near 10 hours today, which is rather unusual, but fucking awesome. Sleep is very important to your health. Been pushing a little hard over the last couple weeks and stuff like that. And it finally caught up to me. That's perfectly fine. But listen, enjoy your Thanksgiving. Look into the lymphatic system. 
or don't. It's your life. Look into the supplements. I insist you watch Dr. Campbell, look into the MedCram video, and look into the links that I have below pertaining to vitamin D, vitamin K2, geez, uh, zinc supplements. You know, help yourself, help yourself. Best of the family. You know what I think you should do this year for Christmas? Not be a jerk off. And help you, help yourself, be the strongest you you can be. And take a little burden off the shoulders of the people that are actually taking care of you. That should be your goal. Become stronger. I don't know how you do it. Look into it. I've been giving examples now for years. Fucking A. I'll send you a couple links to guys that are whooping the ass off his shit much more than I am. More than I am. Have a happy Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, whatever the fuck you're doing. Howdy.